Before we get into the video, people, I have five Destiny 2 Complete Collections to give away to be with a chance of winning a code. Simply make sure you are subbed to the channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. I will contact winners via direct message on YouTube. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to talk about how you get exotics. Well, no bullshit, no 10 minute videos, no dragged out explanations of how you get them. You get them by playing the damn game, it's as simple as that. Now I've watched a few videos on how you get exotics and I'm like, wow, you get exotics from killing enemies and they drop? You get exotics from doing activities? You get exotics from playing Crucible? Like, mind is blown! Okay, so in all seriousness, I wish I had a faster method for you guys to get exotics to drop. In reality, there isn't any one source where you get improved chances. You get them via killing enemies, playing PvP, doing public events, doing adventures, lost sectors, patrol missions, opening vanguard packages, opening crucible packages, spamming those gunsmith materials. These all give you exotics. Well, you have a slight chance of getting them anyway. You guys remember how D2 was when it first came out? I pretty much had every exotic in the game within the first week. Like most people, going into the new season we wanted many changes to the game and not just the way it played and the way weapons worked etc etc. We wanted loot changes, we wanted exotics to feel exotic, we wanted that feeling of getting a new exotic to be something special. That wasn't there when D2 was first released, it definitely is there now because the exotics are much rarer to get and indeed they should be. Since the Forsaken has dropped, I've had two new exotics. The Two-Tailed Fox, which is great. The new Rocket Launcher, absolutely amazing people. You can see it on the screen now. And I've also had the Hunter's Oath Keeper Gauntlets, which are amazing too. Made it specially for those bowers out there. I actually have a video on both of these exotics coming soon, so stay tuned for that. So these two exotics, I had one drop in a Lost Sector, and the other one dropped at the end of an adventure. I mean, a Lost Sector and an adventure? I've done numerous public events, I've done numerous PvP games, I've done all sorts of shit, but I got them from a Lost Sector and uh, an adventure. Like what? Now since having these drops, I've done numerous more Lost Sectors, numerous more adventures, and I'm yet to get another. I've played a ton of PvP games, I've collected around 200 legendary engrams, actually probably a little bit less than that, but still, none have turned into exotics. Exotics are rare because they are supposed to be, and to be honest it's much better like this. You actually now get excited when you see one pop up on your screen, that's the point. Now is there a faster way in getting exotics? One would say because it seems most enemies have equal chances of dropping exotics and activities too. If we go by that logic, then in that case, you want a place where loads of enemies spawn in. One would say the escalation protocol would be great to do this, maybe even the blind well. But even in saying that guys, it's still no guarantee. I can't tell you guys how many times I've farmed both the EP and the blind well. Still, have I yet to have an exotic drop from either of these two activities, but I had one from a lost sector and one from an adventure. Absolutely crazy, but it just goes to show, exotics drop at complete random. All you gotta do is play the game. Three coins have been removed, Zer is an idiot who doesn't always arse from his elbow, and well, the Kuptark is just a bastard. So yeah, unless some amazing glitch comes out which allows you to buy exotics for Bright Dust, ignore any video titled how to get exotics because in all reality people, all it's going to be doing is telling you how to play the game, just like this video right here. And you don't need to watch two clickbait videos in one month, one is definitely enough. Now if I do find some insane way of getting exotics quicker, I will bring you a video of it. But I will test it thoroughly first, but I highly doubt that will ever be the case. But you never know, there are raids out soon, maybe it will have a higher chance of dropping loot in there. We will see people, we will see. Only a few days left to go. But actually in saying that, a quick way of getting legendaries for me, it's always been the same, is the underbelly within the Leviathan raid. I can farm this spot and always get legendaries to drop. But even so, they still had turned into exotics, but hey, you never know. Maybe one day, maybe one day. But I mean, hey guys, it just means exotics from now on will just feel more exotic. Drop rates are definitely down. Exotics as actual items are much better and stand out from the crowd. And to me, I prefer it like this. It means not everybody will have everything straight away, the way it should be. Much better this way, in my opinion. But yeah guys, if you want exotics, just play your game and enjoy it in the process. And guys, we have come to the end of the video. This is how you get exotic engrams. You play the damn game. 
it is as simple as that and on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really does help me out if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one